Hi, I'm David. And I'm Ryan. And welcome to Eclectical Engineering. Our channel is dedicated to cool DIY builds, new tech demos, and other random projects. For our first video, we're going to take a GoPro session and launch it out of this pneumatic cannon. So let's get right to it and introduce the tech. Our pneumatic cannon is made from a bunch of PVC pipes and fittings bought at a local hardware store. It will supply it with compressed air through a Schrader valve, similar to one found on a bike tire. The trigger is a sprinkler valve combined with an air blowgun. We also fitted the cannon with a bipod so we can accurately control its firing angle, which is important for calculating where the GoPro will land. After some very thorough and extensive testing, we learned that a square object does not make a snug fit in a round hole. So we decided to build a custom projectile to hold the GoPro and made it with our 3D printer. The Hero 4 Session is GoPro's smallest action camera. Released in summer 2015, it's capable of recording 1080p and up to 60 frames per second. And at 1.5 inches on each side, the Session is much more compact than previous GoPro models. All said, it's small enough to fit into our 2.5 inch diameter barrel. To best predict the projectile's flight path, we need to figure out how fast it's going when it first leaves the barrel. Since gravity has a constant acceleration at 9.81 meters per second squared, we can achieve this by timing its flight time when it's launched at a 90 degree angle. Using kinematic equations, we can predict the projectile's trajectory and determine where it will land. This helps us because someone can be in place to catch the camera before it hits the ground. We drew straws and David was lucky enough to win that opportunity. Alright, just packing up, getting ready to do a test shot. Yeah! Got everything? Baseball mitt. Check. Tape. Check. Tennis balls. Check. Tripod. Check. Projectile. Also check. Alright. We'll meet you on the field. Yeah! Uh Hey guys, what's going on? We're here at Christie Field in northern San Francisco, where there are plenty of scenic views and not too many people in the firing line. Well, there's only one person in the firing line, and how does it feel to be that person? Kind of hot, actually. What are you wearing? Well, in the true spirit of eclectical engineering, I have an assortment of random protective gear. I have a replica World War II helmet, a paintball mask, a motorcycle glove, an MMA cup, painter's knee pads, and machine shop boots. Oh, hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're going to need that because I'm going to be aiming right there. I really appreciate that, man. I do have one other thing. My last line of defense is this baseball mitt, so hopefully I can prevent the GoPro from exploding when it lands. All right, well, let's give it a go. Let's do it. Everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, then you can flux off. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll be posting instructions on how to make the pneumatic cannon on our website, eclectical-engineering.com. Links in the description box. If you have any ideas for any cool future projects, please leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, Holy maybe God. I felt it a little bit. <laughs>